Hey guys, I'm gonna show you real quick here how our Shopify to intact integration works. Just the based version here. We're not gonna go through inventory, um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna set up a new item in, um, in intact. This will be start, finish. This will be live, but it's obviously recorded, right? But I'm gonna do everything live, no smoke and mirrors. So um, I don't know, let's do Vin Bjorn sweater. Uh, that's the item ID. So let's do Vin Bjorn sweater dash zero zero or let's do 2021 dash zero one sounds good put our name in here we'll put in a base price of i don't know we're using some good material so it's going to be 55 bucks not going to do anything with warehouse right you could fill in the rest of this too but just to um, uh, get the point across here we're going to go over to the shopify tab here we're going to select product you have uh, if you know anything about shopify you can do product and variant Right, that would be like your XL, your, your large, medium, small. Those are variants. Um, here, you're going to set this sync status to sync. We are going to put in our SKU. We'll just copy and paste that over. This gives you the flexibility to put in something else in Shopify if you wanted to. Right, and now I'm just going to save this. Um, so the integration runs in the background. A smart event goes out, and it is now telling uh, Shopify to look for this item in the event that it doesn't uh, exist. If it does, we want to update it, right? We don't want to duplicate. So we'll move over here and we'll pull up our products and boom, it pops in. Here's our Vien Bjorn sweater and nothing fancy. The goal is just to get the data over and get it connected. Now, you as the Shopify user or one of your people, somebody on your team can come in and make this look pretty, right? Put in a picture, add in some media, put in some additional tags. Um, but at the very least, it's now connected to Intact. And Intact knows that when we order this or somebody orders it for from our store, that this is the item that we're selling. So let's go make an order here. I'll hop over to the order section. I'm gonna create an order for Alex Hunter, Hunter Alex. And I'm just going to type sweater and here's that sweater for $55 going to add it in. Um, let's say uh, where he's going to order 14. Let's give him a discount of, I don't know, uh, $34. Let's throw in some shipping. Let's just call it standard apply. Calculates the tax for us. Now you could do payment due later and that would just sync the, um, the order over if you wanted to do orders or if you've got a variety of transaction definitions, right? We can flex to what you've got set up. Um, we can also just go straight to invoice and payment depending on how you want to do it, um, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this as paid and create the order. Now this creates an order in Shopify and what we're going to do, since we already have payment, right? We're just going to count this as being fulfilled. It's dependent on how you want it set up, which is totally fine. If, if you want to go order to sales invoice and you want us to convert it for you when the order has been fulfilled, we've got a variety of ways to make that work. Um, but we're going to hop back in to the order entry module. We'll pull up our invoice here. Right, and now we are waiting for this to come over. I think it's this one. What do we say? What was the total here? Yep, 74347, 74347. So this comes over, right? We've got 14 quantity. Uh, we're not doing inventory, right? But we sold, oversold, sold it for $55. And then our subtotals come in nice and neat here. We've got our discount for $34. We've got our shipping. Got our tax coming in um, and then we get our payments our payment on our payment details here can be a credit card for the correct amount right and this is all tied to the correct customer and so from here right further things can happen you could refund it um, we've got an inventory uh, module or add-on that can sync inventory to or from shopify uh, but this is just a quick overview of how you can sync an item over to Shopify, take an order in and bring it over into Intact as a sales invoice and an AR payment. Cool, guys. Talk to you soon.